Well, Richard, it's been a different sort of trip for you having to watch on from the sidelines. Has it been frustrating doing that for you? Uh, very, yeah. Um, obviously, I came out here with the intention to to be able to train and join in with the boys, but um, it's not been that way this week. You know, I was <coughs> ankle's still a bit swollen, and uh, and I iced it and, and give myself an ice burn. Would you believe it? But you know, that's that's what happens sometimes, and it's uh, it's been a long week for myself, but it's been nice to watch the boys. You never want to sit and wallow though, what sort of work have you been able to put on in the training ground? Uh, I've been doing a lot in the gym, um, you know, ballsy has been giving me little workouts I can do that, that get my heart rate up and and give me a, you know, a good sweat on, so, you know, I've not been sitting, just lying in the sun, I've, been, I've still been working and still been trying to get a sweat on. You've been watching the boys train as well, what have you seen from them to encourage you? The boys have been great this week, you know, they've put the graft in and... Um, there's been a lot of quality had as well, so it's it's been good. Um, the new boys, Bolly, very direct player. You know, get on the ball and tries to beat a man and get a ball in, which is which is fantastic. And you know, I think everyone knows about Ross. Um, his finishing's another level, and it's it's good to see. We came here last year, and it was a catalyst for the second half of the season. Are you getting that feeling again that it's really buoyed everyone and kind of giving them a focus again? I think that's the benefit of coming out and and getting some sunshine on your back. You know, it's. I don't think people realise how much of an effect it has on the team, you know. Um, and I think I get I get the impression from sitting on the side watching the boys that this has really kicked us on, and hopefully we can can go, go back uh, go back to Scotland and start the the cup campaign well. Everyone's in each other's pockets as well during the day at night. I mean, it's good. It's a chance to to bond again, is it not? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we've all got two or three roommates that we that we spend time with, and you know, I'm I'm with Alan Campbell, uh, Grimshaw. Bolly, the new boy, which has been great to get to know him and, and Danny. Um, and apart from Grimmy being hard work, the, the lads have been class. <laughs> and just finally, what are your aspirations for the second half of the season? When we've spoke before, and we've, the one word to take from the first half was inconsistency. <clears throat> what are we hoping for the second half? I think that's probably the word to use for the first half of the season is inconsistent. And I think if we can change that around and be consistent uh, in the second half of the season, then you know we'll do well. We'll pick up more points. Um, There'll be a few games that we look back on in the first half of the season where we think we probably should have won them. Um, so hopefully we can turn you know them results in the second half of the season into wins. Thanks, Richard. Thanks.